cloudy with a chance of meatballs and it was part one where um people were becoming things or growing into chickens and even till now it affected me so much i was inside the classroom when i was watching it i was in uni and i ran under a chair and people were like are you all right <laughs> so yes hello you're welcome 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 to our channel how are you now how is your day going how is the last day of the month going how has the month been it's great to have you on here thank you for coming back and thank you for visiting or coming anew if you're a newcomer my name is Morayo Ahonaya I'm a photographer architect author and miss many other wonderful things and this is our channel belongs to me and you yes it is our channel it's a channel where we learn and share and grow together and the way this channel is structured is per quarter we talk about different things in this quarter which is q1 we're talking about personal growth and development and in q2 we're going to be talking about faith relationship love Q3 Business Nigerian History in preparation for our Independence Day, which is in October. And in the final final quarter, we're going to be talking about goals. What is the update with our goals that we set for the year and reviewing it, updating it, and moving on to the next year, setting those goals. I'm sure I'm going to see you then by God's grace. So yes, what are we talking about today? Can you guess? Okay, it's on the screen actually. And we're talking about on serious, serious business. Hmm. Funny topic, Abby. <laughs> How did we come about this topic? Um, we've been talking about serious things all year long. You know, starting the year right, setting goals, um, avoiding distractions, dealing with hard times, and things like that. We've been talking about personal development, but those things have basically had to do with ourselves, with us. So um, the unserious business that is serious is the external factors that are still affecting the physical growth and the physical self and the physical development. So would you guys like to dive into it? Of course, let's start immediately. So I recently listened to a TED talk by Susan Pinker she's the author of um of a book called the village effect and it is um, how to face how face-to-face -face, um contacts and interactions make us healthier happier and smarter people and she spoke about how the book came about and how her research came about how people can be healthier smarter because of interactions with other people and what she did was that she based their research on people that have lived the longest on the face of the earth. And she noticed that there were more of those people in a small island in Italy called Sardinia, like Sardine, Sardinia. There were lots of centenarians. Centenarians are old people that are beyond a hundred years old. You know, they're beyond the age of hundred. And she saw that both male and female centenarians were so many on this island. Normally, on the global scale, women live longer than men and there are more female centenarians than male centenarians in most places. But on this island, they're kind of balanced, they're almost equal, you know. And she went there to discover why are these people living so long and why are... What is, what is the secret to living long and what is the secret to having a happier, healthier life, basically. And she drew up a chart. So what do you think would be the secret if you were to tell me? I'm sure some people will say eating healthy or lifestyle or jogging, exercising or yeah, I'm sure those will be your topmost list. But sorry to break your heart a bit. Those are part of the things that help. But the things that are top of the list even beyond weight and exercising are like flu vaccines are not smoking not being a secondary smoker that is your inhaling um, the smoke not drinking you know yes lifestyle but at the top most of that list is 
close relationships which is second to the first and the first is social integration and those two are a very big feature of social living or social life so yes i am here to tell you that your social life is a very important factor or determinant in how healthy you will live and how long you will live and that is where we're going to start our own serious serious business from so we're going to talk about five factors in this on serious serious business on serious serious meaning that they are serious but they may not be as serious as what we've been talking about and those five factors will be your social life your spiritual life your mental health your lifestyle and your general health why are we starting with social life like the research showed or has shown contact with people is very important and having the right people in your circle is very important um, relationships something that is being undermined in this current generation is the value of genuine relationships a lot of people are in relationships for or enter into bonding relationships for what they can get it's very easy to dismiss somebody that you feel cannot add to you or you feel cannot and not just add to you in other terms i'm talking about add to you financially i've seen a lot of my my mates or will i say millennials doing that but that is doing yourself a disservice when you watch this um when you watch this ted talk if you watch it you see that social integration has to do with talking to different people in fact you don't have to be a nice person but your daily interaction with your megad your newspaper person that they call they, they had names for them your mailman your security guard you know i'm just using the typical nigerian language your, t your, your, your interaction with your neighbors or people around you all those things are things that boost unconsciously your neuro your neuro vaccines and those neuro vaccines are a vaccine is something that um it's it's it's, a, it's like a shield from a disease or external harming factors so you have neuro vaccines that are released when you have interaction with people don't be a loner don't let it be all about don't let it be all about your monitor or your laptop or work all the time you know bonding with people is important and for those that have family bonding with your family is important when we talked about close relationships which is one of those things in the ted talk we realized that people live long because of the people in their circle people that can add to them in terms of helping them listening to them when they have something to say sharing with them loving them nurturing them a lot of these old people had their sons coming around their nieces coming around they weren't people that were close to them people that were family weren't too far away and even though some of these people were grumpy old people they had this relationship with their family members that you know they understood each other so we need to improve our social life basically if you don't have friends or if you're not if you have um if you toss away if the idea of friendship if, if you think it's overrated then you have to sit down and and think again you have to sit down and think again so the next um serious on serious business or on serious serious business that we're talking about is i said it before spiritual your spiritual life very very important your spiritual life the as we know the wealth of a man's life or as i have learned is the relationships around him but it is god who brings the right relationships around you it is it is providence that supplies you and it is not necessarily the family that you're born into that will be your will end up being your family family is not necessarily by blood you know it is always amazing when your family members are your tightest and closest friends but it's not necessarily the case not necessarily important you know so god will bring other people into your life friends um associations that will boost your personality that will a lot of a lot of people have come into opportunities in life you know based on the relationships now some people strategically strategically place themselves in those relationships which is fine 
but um, there's a big factor of providence bringing the right relationships your way i remember uh, there was a time i used to confess that i'm always at the right place at the right time doing the right things meeting the right people speaking the right words interacting with the right minds you know sharing the right ideas and dialogue i just used to say it and say it and i found myself being in in those circles in those kinds of circles and i'm still you know in those kinds of circles so you cannot overrate spiritual life and in spiritual life i'm not just talking about um your relationship with god which is the ultimate i'm talking about your alertness to the fact that you are spirit i know that they're atheists in africa but a lot of africans actually understand spirit and believe in spirit and be, and know and feel the aura of spirit because it's just the way we are africans we are superstitious but we are also aware of the reality that the physical realm is not just the only thing so it will be foolish to not pay attention to a, a, a higher realm if i may say yes a higher realm your spiritual life is very important forming and nurturing a relationship with god and with other spiritual people will take you farther than you can imagine because you know i, I always say that i'm a child of faith what you can what you can walk for sometimes god's grace will bring it to you in a faster and easier way so please even for even not just for the sake of things that you can get or the relationships that you can get having a spiritual life is very interesting and very very empowering very very ennobling very very it is it is it is a beautiful there's an emptiness that you feel at least for me when you don't have a relationship with God so to kill that emptiness and also because this life doesn't end here you know, when you when you when, when we are done with here there's another place we're going you prepare yourself for that you know and the third thing I want to talk about is your mental health now everything is related I mean there's a lot of sayings about mind in the Bible you know there's a, a part of Bible says um, be let there be a renewal of your mind it says um, let this mind be in you the mind of Christ you know it says um, for I'm not giving you a spirit of fear but of love and of a sound mind you know there's a lot of things about mind Philippians 4 8 basically talks about how you should guard your mind fix your thoughts fix you know it talks about how you should fix your thoughts when you fix something it's like you fix your thoughts thoughts on things that are pure things that are lovely things that are excellent things that are praiseworthy things that are noble you know things that are beautiful fix your thoughts on those things you know it's like saying it's like god is saying my my dear better live in a bubble it's important to live in a bubble to guard your heart to guard what you listen to to always keep your mind renewed and to to be mindful of your mind minding your mind so mental health is very important we have to mind you have to be mindful of what you what you ingest i am a, someone who is very very i am dramatic i am expressive i am animated i am alive so i am very careful of the things i take into my space there are times where i've seen people status on whatsapp and it does i'm just going to I, I just see something and it affects me seriously i remember one time i was watching a movie um is it chicken little or something or it's cloudy with a chance of meatballs and it was part one where um people were becoming things or growing into chickens and even till now it affected me so much i was inside the classroom when i was watching it i was in uni and i ran under a chair and people were like are you all right <laughs> so yes your mind is more powerful than you think i can i watch movies and you know it's in taking things and before you know you're crying for a very emotional scene some people are stronger you know some people do not react to things as much but your mind is still a very important factor in who you are and what you become i i unfollow people on instagram you know people that may have been inspiring to me but when i feel that i'm beginning to lose track of why i followed you or i'm comparing myself to you too much and it's affecting me i will unfollow you maybe for a while maybe i'll come back but just to 
peace peace put peace be at one piece or just stay away from instagram or whatever it is for a while it's it's important it's necessary is very 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 important to be at peace with yourself at all times if there's something that is stressing you out you know you're 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 under pressure at all times if it's a job if it's try to or if it's a person you know try to reduce interaction or try to seek a solution around that especially if you have to be in that job you it doesn't mean you have to be in that job maybe it's a phase you know it's a phase in the job seek up seek ways to sleep seek ways to, to to rest your mind seek ways to prioritize yourself prioritize your mental health if you're not here life will go on if you, you I, I don't know how to say it enough your mind is very important when you watch movies and people are transported into the place of their minds the place of the mind is always a forest, a lively forest, a beautiful place, a place of possibilities. It's it's a place where things grow, you know. But when that place is distorted or when that reality is distorted, every reality is from the mind anyways. When that reality is distorted, you you, you begin to see maybe in the realm that the person is coming from in the movie is beginning to crash or things are beginning to happen. So your mind always has to be, that is the essence, the importance. Your mind is the bedrock, it's the foundation for things that will come forth and come out. So guard your heart and guard your mind. Okay, and then lifestyle lifestyle is very broad that is the fourth serious and unserious thing we're going to talk about and sometimes lifestyle is actually dependent on your temperament you know but let's always dial it back to those other things for instance you are a very outgoing person do not burn out because you are very outgoing let it be a balance when it begins to affect your mind or when people when it begins to affect your relationships or your spiritual life you know so let also prioritize i think i should put spiritual life first in terms of priority spiritual life then your mind then social life but i took social life first or because it is what the research stated and it's just what we want what i wanted to start with so learn to prioritize what are the things that are important in your life and as much as lifestyle is is lifestyle is actually very important because lifestyle isn't just um your social life lifestyle has to do with what you eat how you treat yourself your hobbies your habits travel you know lifestyle is basically your style of living so you choose the style of living you want and with time you will fall into it you may not be at the level that you want right now you know there may be a lifestyle that you crave but why don't you be satisfied with where you are and walk around your situations from where you are and enjoy living life in the style that you want to in the current space and within the current um, limits and range that you can live while you aim for more because Sometimes they say fake it till you make it your lifestyle and everything you are boring to Buy hair or buy a car or your you're, you're, you're basically stressing yourself those things that are important those things that are essential to your being Because of your lifestyle which you have to be mindful of which is very important as well having an ice cream once in a while I've not gone to eat out with my husband since we got married. I'm not. It's not like I'm proud of it, but I, it, it just I don't know. It just just has not happened for some reason. And I'm I'm cool. I'm cool with it. Some people say they eat out. The bad people should not take a minute out of this. My office, my former office people, they know what I'm saying. They get the joke. Every Sunday, some people eat out every Sunday. Some people eat out every other week you know and they can afford it and they enjoy it that is their lifestyle but my, my my main point is don't compare your lifestyle to anybody's lifestyle enjoy living in your own style 
if it's reading that calms you and makes you happy if it's watching a movie together with your loved one whatever it is that you would do that just makes your life more enjoyable the food you eat you 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 begin to create a list of what life you want and it will inform your lifestyle basically okay and the final thing because time has really run out is general health you know i talked about this in the video i did last year 10 ways in which i prepare for the new year i talked about how once in a while why don't you go to the hospital for a general checkup it's not like you're expecting anything bad it's not like you are praying for anything bad to happen but uh, there is something about um just checking yourself out and checking yourself up there's something about uh, i don't know how to put it so last towards the end of last year after i did that video i actually went to the hospital for a little checkup not anything you're not doing anything serious you're not i don't even know how to explain the checkup for women you can do a pap smear there's a time you say they say, they say i think three three months or six six months you know if you've not done it before just do it just do it if you've not been to the dentist or if you've not been to okay another thing with general health is maybe something is going on with your body you've noticed and then you now keep stalling because you have work to do please don't do that please do not do that uh, maybe your your something is going on with your eyes or you can't sleep well at night you know you have a particular problem but you keep stalling you don't want to visit the hospital because you're busy or because you don't have money or there are different kinds of hospitals if i will say and you can always take leave from work to go to i mean general hospital is kind of nasty but it's affordable and there are some private hospitals that are affordable and if you're working in a good company you should actually have hmo but that is a story for another day just take general checkup and general health and exercising importance this year stretching you don't have to do anything major um anama cutie on youtube is a very good stretching instructor anna mac cutie M C C U I T Y or something like that. And there are other stretch people that you are not doing anything, just stretching for beginners every morning. You just do like five minutes, six minutes. It goes a long way in boosting your dopamine. It goes a lot and that reduces your cortisol level, which is your stress level. It goes a long way in just encouraging encouraging you and you knowing that you're doing well physically to so you knowing that especially if you were maybe your eyes have been itching for a while and you go to the hospital and they say it's really nothing it actually helps to reduce those symptoms because your body is self-healing and affirmations and words and even you speaking to yourself healing to your body heals your body so please let us do this let us these are five factors out of so many other factors that affect your 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 person and yourself and your wholeness and your well-being so please let us take them importantly i'll run through it again if you do not have a good social life please work on it call that friend that you know has been a good friend and you know that you can be a good friend to that friend that you cherish and you love but you have not had time for call that friend today call that family member today you know that family member that is even in need of your call you know that this person it may be your parents it's been a while you've spoken to him or her or them you know call call check on them visit them if you're in the same city or in the same town go buy things and and you will feel much better and that security guard or that neighbor you haven't said hi to in a while wave at them smile at them and just enter into your house and yes and um your spiritual life if it's on point well done and god's grace if it is slacking a bit oh my days you can pick up god's arms are always wide open and my, my hands are not filling the screen but god's arms are always wide open it's always ready to welcome you is always available it has your time and just 
just pick up, just say a word of prayer, just open your, your, your own spiritual book and read something, one or two things from it, listen to a message, go to service <laughs> if it's been a while. And your mental health, mind your mind, your mind, your mind is very important. Mind that mind. Your mind is a beautiful place, it's a bedrock for many things to manifest and come to pass. If something is bothering you, if a relationship is, is, is bothering you, if, if you're keeping grudges, release them. Release people. Let your mind be at peace and at rest, okay? And the fourth thing is your lifestyle. And your lifestyle is a lot of things. It's your hobby, it's your play, it's your food, it's your it's many things, it's your travel, it's your thoughts, it's even debts in your accumulating accumulating debts to sustain a lifestyle. So plan your life in a way that it will not that is living in lifestyle is just your style of living. Plan that your style, your let let everything not be in a way that clashes with what you can currently afford what you currently enjoy you know do not do more than yourself and do not do what is not true to you basically and finally go to that hospital and do that checkup for there are guy tests and there are girl women tests you know and it doesn't even have to be guy or women test um go to a dentist just do a whitening. I haven't done that in a while. Do a whitening. Just feel good. Go to a there's this um in a, a, a massage place. I've uh, in Lagos. I, I I went to this. What's the name of this? The Enna place. Go and get a good body massage. Let them crack those bones for you. And there's another place I went to. I don't know if it's OSC Spa or OSC Med Spa. There's a girl there that is really good go and have your body released and <laughs> i don't know how else to say it yes so just those are my five points and i hope that they have been beneficial to you i hope this on serious serious video has been fun i hope to see you next time i thank you for joining me i look forward to seeing you bye much 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 love and happy new month in advance mm -hmm.